hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in my previous video i have showed you like how you can make a connection between mongodb compass and python so in this video i'm going to explore how you can make a connection using mongodb atlas and python so for that i have to log into mongodb atlas right so i'm just simply tapping mongodb and i have to log into my uh, official database uh, mongodb atlas so i'm clicking this link and here i need to sign in so I have to give my mail ID and I have to give my password as well. So it will take a few seconds of your time. So I think I have logged in. Yes. So this is the Atlas interface. Okay. So which is basically a hosted database. So I'm going to create a connection between this particular database and Python. So it will take few seconds of your time. So you can say like data size is uh, 401.5. So this is a default database actually provided by uh, MongoDB uh, itself. So I was going through MongoDB using Python codes. So in my next videos, I'll show you like what are the things you can do with your programming languages like Python. So in this video, I'll make a connection with this particular database only. Okay, how to do that? For that, you have to go to database. First, I need to create a Python file. So let me, so this particular code is basically from previous video. Okay, if you didn't come through my previous video, I'm requesting you to please go through that because there I have made a connection between MongoDB Compass and Python. Okay, now I'm going to remove this code. Okay, if you want to take a screenshot, you can take that. Or else if you want this code in the comment box. So please give me a comment in the comment box. And guys, please subscribe to my channel. That will be a great motivation for me. So at this time, I'm remo removing this. Okay, I'm going to create new code. So I have to connect this particular Atlas database, right? So for that, I have to click on the database. Okay, so I'm clicking this clusters. Okay, database is basically the clusters, nothing else. So in this page, you can see like there is an option available which is connect. So if I'm clicking this connect button, it will give you the option like drivers, compass, shell, MongoDB versus VS Code and Atlas SQL. Okay, so those things we don't need. We need only the drivers. Okay, so basically the drivers, you have to select the programming language as per your choice. So I have selected Python and 3.12 or later, so that is fine and so this is the driver you need to install okay i'm going to install this okay let me install this so i copied this and i come to my uh here anaconda prompt and i'm going to install this uh, requirement already satisfied because i have already installed pymongo okay so this is not at all needed i can simply go ahead and copy this code so i'm copying this code Okay, so I have to paste this code over here. Okay, now I need to execute this code. Let me execute this code. Okay. So I'll get some error. See, bad auth, bad authentication failed. Because in this string URI, you can see like MongoDB SRV, this is my username and I have to give the password. So in the password, you have to replace this with your particular password. So I'm giving my password. I can remember like my password was admin123. So I'm giving this and let me connect it to this uh, MongoDB Atlas. Okay, let me try again. So it is executing. It might take a few seconds of time. Again, bad auth. I think I have changed my password to only admin. So let me try that. Did I save that file? Okay, I have saved that file. Or else I'll update the password. Uh, not an issue. Yeah, see, being your deployment, you successfully connected to MongoDB. So my password was only admin. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to change this password. But before that, I want to see like what are the databases available inside that Atlas. Okay, similar to my previous video. In my previous video, I have showed you like what are the database available inside Compass. Similar to uh, that thing, we can do it here as well. Okay, so I have made a client. Simply I have to type for I in client dot and I have to give list database names and I have to print I. Print I, that's it. Okay, so this will give you all the document names, whatever available inside that particular collection. Okay, so let me execute this program. 
so it might take few seconds of time and you can see like there are so many databases or so many actually tables not databases so many collections available inside uh, so many uh, documents available inside that particular collection okay so basically if i will go to atlas so need to go to atlas and you can see i'm closing this okay so the list of database name so basically those are the database okay i have to go to uh, I need to go to Atlas search or I can see browse collections. So basically what are the collections I have? So see, those are the collections as I <clears throat> told you. Now you can tell you, right? MDB user test DB, MDB user test DB, sample Airbnb, sample Airbnb, sample analytics, sample analytics, sample geospatial, sample geospatial. So all the collections are listed over here okay so this is the process how you can connect your uh, mongodb atlas with python so this about the this video is about this only so i'm stopping here after this i will go to more complex concept like how you can do the operations like CRUD operations and what are the commands you can execute through your python so those things i'll uh, cover okay so guys before going please subscribe to my channel and please share my videos and if you have any suggestion or any thoughts please give a comment in the comment box i'll be very happy to answer your thoughts and till then stay tuned and see you in the next video stay tuned and goodbye